Welcome to pre -Math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, AD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this point uh, D is the midpoint uh, on this side uh, BC. In other words, uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is going to be equal to this segment BD. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, ACD is 30 degrees. And this angle uh, ADB is 45 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, BAD is being represented by angle X. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADC. And we are interested uh, in uh, calculating uh, this angle uh, CAD. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we can see this uh, angle C is our exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, angles A and B are our two opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, angle C equal to angle A plus angle B so therefore in our case uh, this uh, angle uh, is our exterior angle whereas uh, these angles this angle and this angle are our uh, opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles must be equal to 45 uh, degrees so therefore we conclude that this angle must be 15 uh, degrees such that uh, 15 degrees plus 30 degrees must be equal to 45 degrees and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, EB on this uh, side uh, AC. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the angle of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this triangle, uh, if this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore our angle uh, EBC turns out to be 60 degrees before we proceed any further I am going to go over the basic review and we can see that this uh, triangle uh, BEC is our special 30 60 90 triangle and I have copied down uh, this uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle ABC over here. And here we can see this 30 degrees is our smallest angle and this uh, 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg. And the side uh, opposite to our this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg and this is called the hypotenuse. So therefore, in such kind of uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is one unit, uh, then the longest leg is going to be twice of that one. That is going to be two units. And this third leg is going to be square root of three. So therefore, we can see in this uh, triangle uh, BEC, we got uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, Two units so therefore uh, this uh, smallest leg is going to be one unit so that means this is going to be congruent to this uh, side and here's our next step I am going to connect uh, these points uh, D and E as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBD and we can see that this triangle uh, EBD is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, whole angle. We know this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore these two congruent angles 
are going to be 60 degrees uh, each so therefore uh, these uh, two angles uh, turn out to be 60 degrees each as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, EBD is an equilateral uh, triangle as well since uh, all uh, these uh, three angles are 60 degrees each so therefore all uh, these uh, three side lengths must be equal as well and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, whole angle is uh, 60 degrees and this uh, smaller angle is uh, 45 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny remaining angle uh, EDA must be equal to 60 degrees minus 45 degrees is going to give us uh, 15 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EAD and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 15 degrees and this angle is 15 degrees as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, ED must be equal to this side length uh, AE as well and finally let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEB and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, is equal to this side length and we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees and likewise uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 45 degrees and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual angles this angle 15 degrees and this angle uh, x so therefore I can write down angle x uh, plus uh, angle uh, 15 degrees uh, equals to 45 degrees and now we are going to subtract uh, 15 degrees uh, from both uh, sides and here we can see this cancels out so therefore our angle x turns out to be equal to 30 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x turns out to be 30 degrees in other words of this angle x turns out to be 30 degrees and that's going to be our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye